Different cities develop different ways, but one thing that they have in common is that they usually follow a certain urban model. Urban models are way a city is organized and each city has a different model depending on its initial development. The multiple nuclei model is one of these. It was developed by Chauncey Harris and Edward Ullman. They both thought that neither the concentric zone model nor the sector model accurately depicted how mid-20th century city was structured. This model describes the layout of a city and it is based on Chicago. It states that modern cities are more complex than suggested by other theorists. Each nucleus in the model acts as a growth point and growth occurs outwards from each nucleus until they all merge in one large urban area. Although Harris and Ullman still said that the city CBD, or Central Business District, is the major center of commerce, they also suggested that specialized zones of development or nuclei would develop according to specific requirements of certain activities, rent-paying abilities, and the tendency of similar kinds of economic activity to cluster together. Thus, the model states that even though a city may have begun with one Central Business District, it will have other smaller central business districts developed on the outskirts of the city. If other CBDs developed on the outskirts of a city, they would be around valuable housing areas to allow shorter commutes to the outskirts of the city. Some of the most known cities which use this model are Houston and Los Angeles, among others. Of course, the model cannot be applied to every single situation and cities tend to modify it so it suits their specific circumstances. In cities which follow the multiple nuclear model, People with the same ethnic or racial background are likely to live near each other, thus creating new, smaller CBDs where they congregate. Due to this, each city has a different layout even though they may follow the same model. As it can be seen in this map, there are various African-American and Hispanic nodes inside Houston which create a smaller nuclei for development. These other nuclei created by groups of people with different racial backgrounds can also be seen inside Los Angeles. The various groups present create new, smaller CBDs based on their necessities, rent-paying abilities and the type of economic activities present. Cities that follow this model tend to do so because of how different racial or ethnic groups, as mentioned before, have settled in the city. Due to similar culture, people within racial or ethnic groups tend to cluster together. Also, as the city continues to grow and its economy is transformed into a service-based economy, several smaller CBDs or micro-agglomerations appear. This can be seen in Quito, as it has continued to develop the Centro Histórico, which had previously been the main CBD, has ceased to be the only focal point where development and major business occurs. Now, smaller CBDs have popped up, such as the South Region, the Central North Region, and Cumbaya, which is in the out outskirts of the city, and has now been one of the main focal points for business. Thank you for watching this video. I hope it teaches you something, and I hope you enjoy it.